Clint, you've been killing it with the white ball recently. What's different from four four day cricket to twenty over cricket and fifty over cricket, and how come you've found so much success? Uh, I'm not really sure to be honest. Uh, I think it's got lucky over in the UK and uh, probably conditions are in my favour, but. At the end of the day, we sort of lost 4-0. Um, so it doesn't really matter personally how you go, it's about winning games to create. So hopefully we can bounce back and get to Dubai and um, sort of turn that around and have a 3-0 win over there. So we'll just wait and see. But I don't think there's too much difference in the day. You've got to put the ball in the right area. So hopefully we'll continue to do that um, with the upcoming tours and then sort of leading to the Australian summer as well. How did you find the English conditions? Uh, wet. It sort of rained every day and we were there. So we're still trying to work out where James was tan from. But um, no, it was great. It was England's always a great um, part of the world to tour. Um, also, they've got a very good side at the moment, so it's a great challenge, and unfortunately, we weren't quite up to it this time, but no doubt next year when we sort of return again, um, we'll be up and about and ready to go. James, it probably wasn't your happiest tour. What did you take out of that? Uh, look, uh, obviously, just the experience of playing in those conditions. It was my first time over there, and it is a bit different to over here, so I think it was you know, just a, just a good um, insight into how to bowl over there and, and conditions that you, know, you probably don't get uh, anywhere else in the world so I think for me it's, it's a fantastic learning curve to, to bowl on those wickets and give me great um, you know um, you know great insight in going into the ashes. Heading over to the UAE I mean there's lots of sun over there so James you should be um, pretty well off. What are the conditions are going to be like over there? Well apparently it's going to be hot uh, they're talking about 50 degrees when we start playing obviously um, they're talking about the game starting at six o'clock at night so going to two in the morning I'm not sure we're going to stay awake till to that late but once again you do whatever you ever you can wherever it takes to play for your country so we can't wait to get over there and sort of turn our the recent series um, around and hopefully come out with a win. And looking ahead to Sri Lanka I mean who are the biggest threats do you think for Australia in that tournament? Oh, I think 2020 career anyone can sort of win on their day but obviously England's a very good side South Africa I think the dark horse at the moment probably don't get much to talk about is the West Indies they've got some a lot of power hitting they've got some good bowls and they've got Noreen as the spinner who's been in excellent form, especially in the recent series against New Zealand. So I think they're going to be a very dangerous side, but as you say that, it's it'd be probably one of if sort of seven or eight teams could sort of take out the trophy. So it's going to be great to get over there and hopefully get over there and compete and hopefully we win the whole thing.